There we go. The Hangout is on there live. Hey guys, Edson Buchanan here coming from Portland, Oregon, and welcome to Sunday Night Marketing Chat. So happy to have the show back on. It's been quite a while since we've done this, and uh, this time we're going to do it uh, really, really cool. We've uh, joined with Delilah Taylor, Jimmy James, Eric Rosen's going to come on. We're going to talk about Facebook marketing strategies and how to really take Facebook and use it for your own online business. We're going to talk about um, who to unfriend, why to unfriend them, then we're going to go into Facebook Live, why you need to be doing it, even though mine's not working, and then finally go into how to get one set clicks for videos. Oh, there it goes. It just started working again. Perfect. So, okay, guys, go ahead and introduce yourselves, uh, go, and uh, let's get started here. Ladies first. Hi, everybody. Sorry, I was trying to get my Facebook Live going. <laughs> I'm Delilah Taylor, known as the Couch Queen, the JV Manager, and as of 30 seconds ago, the, the Stream Queen. Um, <laughs> do a lot on, in internet marketing and Facebook Live streaming. Okay, go ahead, Eric. Hey guys, <clears throat> Eric Rosen here out of Philadelphia. Uh, happy to be on the show tonight. Uh, I've been helping businesses for the last six years. I also uh, dipping into some memberships, niche sites, Facebook ads, YouTube ads. I've been ranking videos for the last six years also, and uh, you know, pretty much uh, do a lot of technical stuff too. So uh, just again, man, uh, happy to be here. And finally, the one uh, foreigner from uh, from another country. Go ahead, Jimmy. Hey guys, Jimmy James, uh, live from Canada, the greatest country on earth, as we all know. I'm a creativepreneur. I'm a local marketer, and just just plain awesome. Thanks for having me. All right, guys. So hey, you know what? It's, uh, great introductions. Let's get started. Uh, the first thing we're going to talk about, guys, um, is Friend requests, uh, you know, we got a lot of new internet marketers. We got people trying to become entrepreneurs, and uh, they know that Facebook is definitely a way to drive traffic to get an audience. But uh, what what do you guys have to say um, when you get friend requests? Do you automatically um, accept all friend requests, or do you start to take a look and say yay on this one, but no on that one, and why? Uh, I don't. I don't accept everybody. Um, I honestly, I usually go to their Facebook page. Uh, first off, I'll see how many friends we have in common. Um, and it, I narrow down my Facebook friends because I'm, I'm at that 5,000 mark, and I had to wipe people out to, to make room for new ones. And I've got lots and lots of followers. And at this point, I mean, I mean I'm not trying to be rude, but i got to be picky. Because I gotta make that target market. My public Facebook friends are okay. They're my friends, but they're also my market. And then, from a woman's standpoint, I get tired of um, well, penis pics. So let's just, <laughs> I, 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 gotta, I, I gotta pick out who I'm gonna. Oh, you get those too. So I'm yeah. not. Sorry, sorry, Delilah. I, I well, I'll stop doing that. I, I thought you liked it. Damn, man, you gotta stop doing that. <laughs> uh, and uh, what, what about you, Eric? What, what are you, what are you, when you get friend yeah, requests, how do you treat them? Uh, you know, definitely those penis pics, man. I'm locked down with those, but uh, yeah, I mean, I'm with Delilah, man. I, I, I gotta see uh, how many, you know, how many friends we have in common. Um, check out the profile. Um, just like Delilah said, I don't, I don't accept everybody. Uh. You know, I'm pretty picky as well. Um, you know, I like to see exactly what they do for business. Um, see exactly, you know, see if they're in the in the area. You know, I mean, target market as well. You know. Yeah. What about you, Jimmy? Uh, for me, what I do is I I take the time to check out the profile. A lot of these profiles and friend requests I get, they they don't look like they're real, or they just kind of look like they're new, or whatever it is. I definitely don't accept everybody. You kind of have to look like you're actually a real person living a real life for me. Um, I also find the hardest thing is is accepting a lot of people, but nobody ever interacting and communicating. <laughs> like nobody says, hey, how are you? What's up? Nice to meet you. Uh, let's be friends. It's just kind of let's be friends and that's it. Never see you again. <laughs> and then sometimes I'm looking at my feed saying, who is this guy? So, yeah, that's pretty much it for me. 
<laughs> yeah, it, then as soon as you uh, accept them, they they throw a link on your timeline, and uh, it's immediately delete. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You you, you know what? Um, for for anybody out there thinking about using Facebook and thinking about uh, just you know you have to use Facebook if you're gonna if you're gonna be an online marketer if you're gonna be an entrepreneur. I, I believe in that, but uh, at the same time, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna say something that uh, everybody else is gonna go, oh snap! <laughs> but uh, I'm I'm just I'm just being honest and real about it, and that is um, when I first started uh, working online, it all had to do with uh, um, the the first tier countries, you know, America, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, the United Kingdom, things like that. Uh, those are those are where your buyers are at. Those are where People are going to buy, and people are going to follow, and people are going to really interact and communicate. Um, for for a while, what I did is I actually would friend just about anybody. Um, but what I started noticing is everybody uh, over on um, the poor parts of the world, I guess, um, they were basically messaging me saying, uh, "God, God bless you, my brother, and I need to make money. I I don't know anything about online marketing." I don't know. Uh, I don't have a dime. My mother is in the hospital. She's two days away from dying. My dad just got ran over by a cow, and um, I really need help. And <laughs> yeah, I got ran over by a cow. That's funny. <laughs> right, right. And so, and so, what it came down to is, at first, I don't know. Maybe it's just the human aspect of us all. I was like, oh damn, this guy needs help, and you feel like you want to help them. But then after a while, I just realized every time I get one of those, you have to automatically unfriend and you have to automatically um, check what country they're coming from. When you get a friend request, guys, make sure jump on there, check what country. And if it's if it's a country that you can't even pronounce, chances are you should just delete it. You know, I'm, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just trying to be honest. That uh, you want to stick with uh, first tier countries. That is gonna follow you. They're gonna buy your products and things like that. I know uh, Delilah, you have your own uh, Facebook live stream show that is awesome. I absolutely, you know, when I get when I get the chance, I watch it. But uh, even on, on your show, I saw some guy, you know, oh my, oh Delilah, please, 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 I need your help. Uh, I that was a terrible yeah. impression, but you guys, you know, you know what I'm saying? You guys know what I'm talking about? Yes, I have no money. I'm not, I live in. And dirt, and we're eating dirt and whatnot. Yeah, I, I do. I exactly do. Um, and then I, the other night, it was so funny. Dale and I were on the, doing the show together, and um, we uh, we had a, a guy come on there that was telling me I was so pretty and wanted to know if I was married and asked me to change the topic. And it was like, dude, knock it off already, really? So. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, um, and you know what? I think I hopefully uh, hopefully in the next update or Facebook realizes that they're gonna give the ability to block or remove somebody from wa from watching. You know, like if they're commenting weird stuff, if you're able to just say, hey, let's just block this guy. Um, I, oh, I I do have one question here before we get much further, guys. Is anybody uh, monitoring the comments for Google? Um, no. No. Hey, what's up, Sol Moreni? How you doing, bro? Okay. Yeah, just uh, I've got a Facebook Live going, so there's a few people watching this Facebook Live, so they may be hopping over to the Google link. So, right, right. Oh, right. okay, okay, yeah. Totally, no, I, that, that's a good idea. I totally forgot about that. Um, yeah, yeah, no, that's, that's a good point, Delilah. Uh, those comments are on uh, uh, YouTube, right? No, they'll be on Google. I'll figure it out here in a second, but okay. Um, the other thing is, uh, Edson, do you have yourself highlighted around your box? I don't think I do. Because we're kind of like stuck on you. Not that I'm mine, <laughs> but it's not flipping from one big screen to the next. That's big. Oh, okay, because because on, on my screen and on uh, on Facebook Live, it, it's flipping. Is it okay? Good. Yeah. It's not yeah. different at all. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, there you go. Now do me Okay. Sorry. Never mind. No, no, you, maybe you just have to talk, Delilah. 
Yeah, yeah, I, I'm such a talker. You, you're like, damn, this guy's face is just like, who? get this guy off the screen. <laughs> like, get to shut up. <laughs> okay, guys, so, um, you know, with that, uh, I think we gave everybody a, a good breakdown on, you know, okay. what to do with... Join us on uh, the Google link and what we'll you should um, with uh, friends and things like that. Now, uh, here's here's another thing that uh, I think we should talk about. Um, you're following you're following um, you're you're following other marketers, and uh, as you follow them, you get to know them a little bit. You get to know their family and things like that, and it's great. But then all of a sudden, uh, politics gets in the way. Some uh, mass murdering happens. And then their true feelings come out about something that you totally disagree with, and uh, it's just what, what do you guys do with something like that? Well, I that's one rule I have is I never talk about religion or, or politics in social media, so I don't even get into it with people. You know what I mean? I just you know just don't even get into it. Yeah, I'm never I'm, same I'm thing. I'm never to Eric on that too. Is is the Lila still here? Yeah, I'm still here. Okay. I'm trying to pull up the uh, the Google Hangouts box. Oh, okay. So we can use in there. Okay, and you know what, Nala? I'm not sure what happened with your internet, but you're really like slow. Like when mm -hmm. you're moving. Okay. There you go. Still there. Yeah, though. and um, Eric, I I totally agree with you. Um, I try. No, I don't try. I don't. I don't get into. Um, uh, political, religious, or anything like that uh, on, on Facebook because it will consume your time and you're trying to prove somebody, um, you're trying to tell somebody different that what they have their beliefs and you're trying to convince them of your beliefs. And it's right. just a waste of time. personal, you know? So. Yeah, yeah it, it, it's, it's a waste of time. And Everything that you don't want to mess with. So. Yeah, and, and you, you know what? What I do is... Uh, when, when, when I feel like I, I don't care who you are, I don't care if you make uh, three zillion dollars in uh, 45 seconds, um, when I feel that you cross the line, not only like um, on, on Facebook, I'm not going to tell you, but like personally for me, when I feel like it's been crossed, I just, I just unfriend them and um, just don't talk to them anymore or follow them because it's just not what uh, my personal belief is. And I think a lot of people, I don't know what it, what, what it is with Facebook uh, and social media, but, you know, of course you have Google, so you can, you, can, you can basically, like, say something and then go make sure that it's legit by typing in Google. And then, ah, oh, see, I, I told you. But, um, yeah, I just unfriend them, man. I, I just don't have time for um, people that really cross the line. And there are some people that I just, I'm like, oh, my God. Yeah, some people are just from us. Yeah. Okay. So with that, with that said, guys, uh, Delilah, are you still here? Yeah, I'm still here. Can't you see me? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm looking through my phone to looking at the screen, so I really can't see the screen. So okay. So next, let's talk about uh, Facebook Live. Let's talk about why uh, entrepreneurs, internet marketers, should be using it. And Delilah, I think that'd be a, a good area for you. I know that you've been doing something with that. Yeah. Uh, Facebook Live. Is one of the best things about it is, for first, you have massive engagement because you're talking live with people. You're putting in questions, and they're answering, and you can answer at the same time. So it's a live uh, Q&A, quite honestly, and you're doing coaching live at the same time. So uh, there's that connection where they really have true instant access to you, more so than a, a pre-recorded video or more so than a Facebook ad or just a Facebook post. They're actually, while you're there and you're in real time, they're doing all their talking with you at the same time. So you get that one-on-one -on -one interpersonal action and that really, really boosts the, the like, no, and trust factor because people get to, to see what's working for you and what isn't. The other thing is uh, Facebook Live, Facebook is preferential to Facebook Live right now. So you're going to hit people's edge rank. 
You're, so I'm doing a Facebook Live, and say you're doing a Facebook post. I will hit somebody's timeline before you will. And I will hit 10 people's timelines compared to your one person timeline. Right, yeah. Yeah, because they do, they do this like, uh, as soon as you go live, it says, uh, just a second, Facebook is gathering you an audience. And then 10 seconds later, you got all these people watching you. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's kind of funny. I, mean, I was looking earlier, and I did a, a Facebook ad a while back. And um, Facebook, you know, shows you that information. My Facebook ad, it had like 35 engagements. The Facebook Live that I did right before I came onto this show, I had over, that was only like 20, 25 minutes worth of lifetime. I had over 200 views on that, and I think over 40 comments, so already 40 engagements within a 20-minute time period. Yeah. yeah For that. Okay, so uh, with so, so let, let's say that uh, somebody brand new, they get into their marketing, they, they understand that uh, Facebook is a big tool. Um, what do you tell them about uh, getting in front of the camera, you know? <laughs> Sorry, you said Facebook is a big tool. <laughs> okay, That's twelve year old me just showed up. Hang on. I don't know. I right? on the show tonight. I'm talking about penises, talking about big tools. I mean, what's going on? I know. Uh, I... <laughs> okay. First off, before you ever do Facebook Live, before you do anything on Facebook. I think that's a, a huge misconception. People are like, oh, I'm just going on Facebook and make tons of money. Yeah, no, you have to go into Facebook and build up your target market first. You have to know what your product is, who's going <laughs> to, what type of people are going to want to be interested in your product, and then go and make friends with those people. Yeah. And that we're talking about personal connections, not just sending them a friend request and then never talking to them again and then sending them spam crap. We're talking about, you know, really talking with them, becoming friendships and building that app. It does take a bit of time. Right. So that that would be my best suggestion for that. Okay, so let, let's say, uh, what's a product that just came? Actually, uh, Dale, um, uh, he was a manager of what, what product was it that just came out? QFC. Uh, QFC, QIC? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let, let's say, um, okay, I'm, product, yeah. you know, um, I'm, I'm brand new. I want to use Facebook to talk to review this product. Um, I, I, I think what you have to do is you have to understand that you're brand new and just in order to get better at it, you just have to do it. You know, you might sound... Uh, silly, you might you might not make any sense to yourself, but people are like, oh, you know. But that's how it starts, right? Is you have to actually do it in order to uh, get better at it. Yeah, well, and, and that's actually a really good example because this was first Dale's first time as a JP manager, and he didn't have that that, that target marketing audience that that I have. So we had to. He had lots of friends on Facebook, but they were local, they were family, they were people that he had played Mafia Wars with. We had to go in and literally build his friends list up with marketing people. And then he spent, I don't know how many hours upon hours upon hours, just uh, sending friend requests and sending personal messages and getting to know people to prepare for that very first launch. Yeah, yeah, and I know, um, like you, what you just uh, did, I think a couple couple days ago, was like Facebook Live is on events, is on fan pages, is in groups. Uh, Facebook loves Facebook Live. Yes. You know, and they want you to use it, and they um, and for for right now, they don't even care um, what links you put in, except for JVZoo. You have to cloak that link, right? Yeah, JVZoo, you still have to cloak. Yeah. And honestly, any kind of affiliate link I would cloak anyways, because they're just yeah. <laughs> figure out where it's coming from. Yeah. Hey, uh, hey, Jimmy, Jimmy, James, are you still awake over there? Yeah, I'm listening. I'm just listening. So. Oh, okay. But yeah, I agree would... with Delilah about the building the audience. Uh, the reality is, is we're in an era where it's it's about the audience, really. It's not about the product or anything else. It's really about your audience. So I agree with you there, Delilah, on that. Um, super important, and it does take time. Totally.
Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, I think I think that uh, what people what people need to do, especially new people, is if they're going to use like Facebook Live, they're going to use any type of video. Um, I don't want to get too much into video stuff because that's next week, but uh, just to provide some type of value, and then you know something that your audience is going to like, and maybe something you're going to teach them. Hey guys, did you know you could do this with the fan page? Did you know you could do this? We'll do little Facebook Live videos of that, and then people are going to start trusting you. People are going to start liking the way you teach them, and then uh, it will be easier to sell to those people. Yeah, definitely. I, I totally agree. It builds that you know like no one trust factor up a lot, and uh, it gets me. You know, people, you know, are more on a personal level with you too, just like Delia was saying. Um, you know, maybe like they're on their email list and they're constantly getting emails from you, but they never put a face to the email. You know what I mean? But now you're doing a Facebook Live. And uh, they can actually interact with you and ask questions to you. You know, I mean, just like she was saying, just like Glad was saying as well. You know, answering questions. You know, Q and A. Uh, you can maybe you know have a special day that you're doing Q and A with your email list. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and 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 to do, um, and the really cool thing about combining uh, tools, and we're gonna use the word tools again, uh, but we can use you know Google Hangouts to do a live show. And then Facebook Live to reach that audience, so we're reaching multiple audiences and uh, bringing them together to watch the show. And uh, it's just content based. That's it. You know, we're not trying to sell anything. We're just out here talking about um, marketing strategies with Facebook. Yeah, and it gives the end user too um, an opportunity to see that you're a real person and you live real life. Besides the content that you give, um, they get to see who you really are because the camera doesn't lie. So. Yeah, I think that's important. Yeah, yeah. What do you and um, um, and I think it's a uh, it's just what people what people want to follow. Uh, I personally like my my thing is I like to follow people that seem uh, uh, legit. They seem real. Um, you know, Delilah, I like following you and I like uh, watching your videos uh, with Facebook Live because not only do you uh, talk about uh, marketing, but sometimes you just have off topic stuff. Uh, you had a video of uh, shooting guns. You had a video of uh, cooking dinner and things like that. And uh, it, it's a personal connection. And when you really start to follow somebody, you like to like that person, um, then you send them a dick pic. <laughs> <laughs> what a guy. Wow. <laughs> Uh, I just uh, love the videos with the wine in it, Delilah, personally. I'm, I'm good with the wine. <laughs> oh, here. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> All right, guys. So let's. Uh, so we, we got Facebook Live a little bit done about why people should be using it. If you're not, guys, just start using it. Uh, we talked about uh, who you should friend, who you sh- shouldn't uh, un- so you, who you should unfriend. And now we're going to get into... Um, how to get one cent clicks with uh, Facebook. And uh, Eric, you take it away, man. You, you know this a lot more than I do. <clears throat> yeah, um, I'm having lots of success lately with this. Uh, it's uh, you know viral Facebook videos. <clears throat> um, pretty much um, what I do is I go on YouTube, like whatever your niche is. So let's say uh, uh, you're in a weight loss niche, right? So you find a viral video, what you think will go viral or already has gone viral. So you, uh, you know, it's up top you, uh, you have a uh, selection. You can, you can select um, like a view count, you know, under you want to like a, a video that's not longer than uh, preferably uh, 20 seconds is my, is my experience. So if it is longer than that, you want to download that video, make some edits to it. So you know you download that download that to your computer and then you upload it to your Facebook page and then you, you know you whole idea is uh, putting ads to that video but you're scaling out not up so the the trick here is um, you know you want to set this this ad to this viral video at five dollars no 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 you know not, not much more. Uh, and you want to go really broad at first. So let's say you know I'm gonna no weight loss this right. So I'm gonna go for an audience at least a million people. So anything above a million is uh, great, but at least a million people. 
And then, you know, like I said, you want to set it um, at $5, and you want to scale out, not up. So meaning you want to duplicate that ad. So if I, if I run one ad at $5, I'm going to duplicate that over and over and not touch anything and just duplicate that over and over at least at least another three to five times, like however deep your pockets are, you know what I mean? So you want to duplicate that at least three more times. So then uh, so you basically want to let that ad run about 48 hours, let Facebook gather the data, and then after the two days, you're going to pause everything that is pretty much – like um, I'm looking for basically my ads. I'm like I'm looking for like at least three zeros, like um, like point zero 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 one cents per view. You know, anything anything below below like three zeros um, that you know I'm gonna pause. So I'm gonna pause all those, and then I'm gonna point that ad to another post because you can't edit a Facebook post while ads are pointing to that. So you're gonna you're gonna pause you're gonna pause the um the, the Karen ad, point it to a different post, and now you're gonna put a link in the description of that of that Facebook video post because uh, Facebook doesn't really respond well when you first put a link inside the description of a video ad post. They're not gonna give you clearly as as a you know broad of a reach. So now once you uh, once you place that link in the description of the video ad, now you point the ads back to that post. And now you just let those run, and then um, you know, like I, you just keep doing that same cycle over and over. Just uh, let it run for a couple more days, see your results. Take the highest one, take the highest ones, pause those, and then take that the best one and just duplicate that over and over and over. And this cycle, I'm telling you, do this cycle over and over and over with just that same exact ad. And uh, a lot of times, it will just go viral on its own. You can actually stop paying for the ad. Because people are just constantly sharing, sharing, you know, with their friends, tagging their friends. You know, before you know it, you have, you know, 500,000 views and you only paid about $15 total to run the ads. Right, that makes sense. So, yeah, man, I've been, uh, I've been having a lot of success with that, building up membership sites with it. You know what I mean? Um, getting lots of leads. Uh, you know, I got different campaigns going on right now where, you know, I'm talking to you guys, and uh, you know, I'm going, getting leads. You know, opting into my membership site right now. Um, so that um, I know that uh, you, so you go to YouTube, you find a video that's already popular. Now you said that you uh, download that video. Um, what what uh, software? What do you use to uh, download that video? Yeah, I mean, there's all different different types of free software online, but there's um, there's one I believe it's n like b n dot save dot net. So it's like n.save.net. Yeah, here, let me, let me, what do you yeah, say? I use a uh, free, no, it's n.video converter. That's, that's the one I use, free, free make video converter. It just allows you to take a YouTube video and download it. Right, yeah, same concept. Yeah, this is n.savefrom.net. Okay. Yeah. So you take, you take that video, it's already popular, you put it over on Facebook, and then um, you literally do like three to five ads. You probably do more. And yeah, then, whatever you know, whatever you're comfortable. Of course, you know, what I mean, whatever your budget is. Um, I like to do a five. You know, I like to duplicate it. You know, a total of five times. So you know, let those run for two days. And uh, you know, it takes Facebook about two days to optimize the ad, gather the data for it. And then let's say you know, if I have out of the five, I have some ads. You know, point zero one cents. You know. Couple point zero two, and you know another one point zero zero two, and another one point zero 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 one. I'm gonna keep the zero 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 one, pause all the others, you know what I mean, and then duplicate that point zero 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 one over the same amount of times. Right. Just, yeah. I think we got cycle over and over and over. And so, uh, so now all of a sudden you have like all these viral videos that you're paying like five cents for, bringing in like tons of traffic. Exactly. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, you'll have. Tons of engagement on your video, thousands of views, and look at what you're paying for today. You only paid a dollar seventy-five. Yeah, I mean, it's it's crazy. You know, what I mean, it's really uh, those results, man. I mean, you really, you really can do some. I mean, there's so many different strategies too. You can run CPA. You know, you send your leads wherever you want. You can send them to a landing page. You have CPA offers. You have affiliate a landing page with affiliate offers. You know, what I mean, you can do whatever you want. You can sell the leads. You know, there's so many different, you know, you know, ways to monetize. 
Okay, yeah. where, where do you get the vid videos from? On YouTube. Okay, do they do they match your offer? That was always my problem. Yeah, I never could figure out how to do that because there's all these great video viral videos, but I never could figure out how to take the video and go from the video to sending it to the link. Does that make sense? Well, uh, I think I, I think I know. So pretty much, you go on YouTube, no matter what niche you're in, right? So you find a video, viral video, whatever your niche is. So let's say if I'm in a weight loss niche, I'll find a mom, let's say, uh, uh, working out with a baby. So I think it's like a cute video, like anything cute, funny, entertaining, uh, anything that you think will go viral or already has a lot of views. You know what I mean? You just take that video, download it from the web, like me and uh, Edson was just talking about. There's different uh, sites online where you can download the video. And then if a video is like four minutes, all you want to you want to make sure this video is no longer than my experience, no longer than 20 seconds. So, you know, with Camtasia or, you know, any other editor, just want to take out the best part of the video and uh, just take the best 20 seconds out and then uh, save that and then upload it to your Facebook page and, and then that's how you, uh, you know, and then you never want to, you never want to boost it from the page. I forgot to tell you, like, you always want to boost it from inside the ad manager. Never want to boost a post from your page. You always want to go inside the ad manager and boost it from there. Okay. Uh, Eric, you say uh, 20 seconds no longer now. Is that isn't that ideally like an Instagram video or like why well, 20? Seconds? I'm not. Yeah, I'm not familiar with Instagram videos, but uh, hey, I don't know, so I can't. I don't know. I well, what's why? Why 20 use. seconds is kind of the question, I guess. Well, because your audience will fall off, like. Um, the span of the audience, you know, the attention span of the audience is uh, what I find. Twenty seconds on Facebook is like uh, when you're doing videos, they tend to fall off, you know, after twenty seconds. Right. And yeah. also, also with the video ads, Facebook builds a retargeting list for you as well. So they build two different lists: uh, one who, you know, watched part of the video, and then one who watched the full, the full video. Right, and, and uh, I mean, just just for me, uh, I mean, that makes sense because I'm scrolling through Facebook, and if I find a video that has a lot of likes or has a lot of comments, I go to watch it, and if it's, uh, if it's longer than 20 or 30 seconds, I'm already like, Where's, when is this going to become funny? <laughs> yeah. And then I just move on. <laughs> Without liking it. It's advertising. <laughs> yeah. What the, what the, you know, how the strategy is most effective is, uh, you know, you put that link in there once, it's, once it goes off. And I mean, you just sit back, and everyone's sharing it with their friends. And I mean, you can just turn the ads off, and it's still going viral because everyone's sharing it all over online on Facebook, and people are just clicking that link. I mean, you want to put a cool description like uh, "check this out," or you know, you don't want to be over the top because Facebook won't like that with the call to action. So uh, you know, like, hey, don't want to miss this, or hey, check this out, or or, or you know, uh, hey, did you see this? Or you know, what I mean, something like that. Some some cool where people have to click that link to find out because you know how people are. No, you know, so nosy on Facebook. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, how people what to do nowadays, nowadays too, right? Right. What's that? I said you I need to tell people what to do. So you need to say, hey, oh, click exactly. the link, yeah. or share with your friends, or like, or whatever it is, because people won't do anything. They'll just look at it like Edson yeah. and say, oh, I had enough of this. I'm moving on. Yeah, people. You have to tell people what to do exactly. Yeah, um, t uh, Tony. Actually, I, I, I'm getting a question about that. Can you take anybody's video and do that? Or yeah, about um, trademarks, things that you have no, to be aware of? The thing is, um, you don't want to down. I mean, on you, if someone puts a video on YouTube, you can. They're, they actually, I mean, it's it's in the YouTube rules. Um, you're allowed to download any video you want. You just can't run ads to certain videos. The, the videos that don't have monetization set up, you can't run ads to those videos, but you're free to download any video. However, you don't want to use any trademark videos, any any company branded videos. It just, you know, won't help you out. You know what I mean? Any, you know, any videos where the owner will be pissed off. Um, you know, you always want to just make sure you download a video that's neutral, that has no branding on it, you know, that's uh uh, you know, it's free to use where it would help. Yeah, I mean, of course, you don't want to promote another company, like download a company's video, 
and uh, you know have people you're trying to send them to wherever you want to go, and they're more interested in finding out more about the company. You know, I mean, you're you're pushing the video about, you know, right? With uh, with what Eric's saying, uh, I, I I see this once in a while uh, online, and uh, I just gave up on trying to do anything about it. Um, but yeah, I'll I'll, uh, I'll find one of my videos um, about like you know Facebook marketing strategies on uh, downloaded and put into a new channel, and then what what they do is they like put it on their blog or something, and they write a post with affiliate links, so it makes it look like it's right. them, but it's really not them. But they're just using the video and the content to create their their post and make some money off it. And yeah, I mean you know. Unless unless you want to be the internet police and try to like fly through the universe, like it's going to be impossible. <laughs> I mean, a lot of times, you know, when I when I rank videos for affiliate products, people take my video, you know, and put it just like you said. They put it on inside, you know, a blog post, and it actually helps me out. You know, <laughs> more backlinks yeah. to my video, but you know, they're trying to promote the video using my video, and you know, yeah. hey. Now, now that is one thing I can say, and. I've said this from the beginning. Almost every single video or training or anything I've ever done, I'm on it. I mean, literally live on it somewhere in a corner somewhere. If you steal my video, you're just showing me. So Black Hatter has yeah. actually kind of helped me out, you know, yeah. <laughs> when they steal my Probably crap. That. They just send more people to my stuff. So I'm, yeah. I'm kind of. Still more of my stuff. Still more. <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, uh, Tony. Tony uh, is asking, "What was that video app to convert the Google video?" Uh, or the and, YouTube video, you mean? Uh, yeah, I think you meant the YouTube video. Yeah. You meant the YouTube video, Tony. It's en dot save from dot net. Hey, uh, uh, Jimmy, could you go into the, the the discussion and write that in there? Uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, you might have to repeat it, uh, Eric. Okay, it's e en as a Nancy dot yep. save from dot net save right yep okay Jimmy looks so serious to download the you know the MP4 en seven twenty save from from yeah. What was the last part? Save from .net. Oh, .net. Okay, got it. I think that's right. <clears throat> See, so yeah, back to the video is not to use. Um, you know, like professional sports game. You know, clips. Anything the obvious copyright. Anything that's branded. You know, anything someone's trying to sell. Any, you know, like I said, anything where the owner will be mad. Right now, um, so so I, I, I uh, oh you're welcome, Tony and Rick. Um, I get I get what you're saying, except I'm I'm with Delilah. At the, how do you get the link in there? What do you mean the link? I don't understand. Like what do you mean? Like like the the you're talking Delilah, are you talking about like the like the affiliate link or the link to the whatever you're trying to send them to? The link to the video. Right. Yeah, you got so you got the video. We got approved. I want to. Sell a, a product that's about pets. Would I use like a crazy cat video? How do I make them relate to each other? Right, right. Yeah, exactly. Do I, yeah, you would add, you know, get a cute cat video or you know, funny cat video or you know, something like that, entertaining cat video. Okay. I'm sorry. Did you say earlier though that you you don't want to add a link until after the 48 hours? Exactly. And so right. okay, so so you just edit it two days later or something, and then add the right. link. Yeah. Well, that's if it's doing good. If the video, you know, if you see it has a, you know, about two hundred fifty thousand views, uh, that's when it, you know, you know it's doing good. So that's when you pause it, point the ads to another post because, like I said, you can't edit the Facebook post when ads are pointing to that post, and then you uh, put the link in the description, then you unpause the the, the ad and point it back to that that post. Oh, okay. Got it. Got it. That makes sense. So you let the you let the video set first is what you do, right? What's that, Eric? You let the video set first, and then you go yeah, back. Yeah, and yeah. You want it set for at least two, you know, forty-eight hours. Right. 
so that it registers with Facebook and it's all right. good to go, and then you go back and edit it once it's gone it, viral. That makes sense. It took about two days, you know, for it to gather all the, their their ammo on their end, you know what I mean, and uh, and then uh, to determine what price they're going to charge you. So, um, you know, it's still settling out. You know, it takes, you know, like I said, it takes about two days because you'll see your prices, uh, you see your costs jump up and down, you know, pretty much in the first two days. That makes sense. Yeah, I, you, you know what? Um, with uh, what's really worked well for me, and and I I'm, I get pretty low clicks is uh, my fan page. I have like two thousand uh, likes, and um, I, I do a I, I build a, a custom audience. I have them duplicate a custom audience around that audience, and then I'll put up a uh, an ad, or I'm sorry, I'll, I'll put up a post on my fan page. Uh, like for instance. Um, Barb Ling, she had this uh, like this 377 uh, Pokemon cheat sheet thing, and I, I so I, I put up the I, I put up the post, and I had the link inside there, um, and then um, but I boosted it. I boosted it though from my fan page. I now know how to boost it inside right. my manager. Um, but when I boosted it, um, all it was was a picture, and I had an affiliate link. And it's weird because sometimes Facebook. Doesn't care. They're like, yeah, go ahead. We don't care. And other times they <laughs> they do care. Yeah, you know, sometimes you can you know get over on Facebook sometimes, but they just like, like when you get over on them, they just missed it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, sometimes yeah, I mean sometimes I'm shocked because I'm like, oh, I forgot to do this, but it right. got approved. Yeah, yeah. I got I got uh, I did three ads, all Pokemon related. Two of them got denied, said because you have an affiliate link, but the other one <laughs> went through. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. You caught Mark Zuckerberg sleeping. <laughs> right? We're going to make a, a Yelp complaint. <laughs> uh, All right, Delilah, what, what, uh, what are you uh, smiling about over there? I've got uh, somebody messaging me, asking me about uh, Eric's uh, stuff. So that's a, that's what I'm doing. I'm literally doing Facebook Messenger about the Facebook about our live right now. Oh, okay. Like, How does well, that he, he, so this is what you were talking about earlier, Delilah, about getting leads, right? Is this an example? <laughs> one of yes. And, it, and this is a great one to go into is Facebook Messenger, literally. Um, so many people are worried about. They don't take control of their business. They're worried about setting up sales pages and, and funnels and setting up um, their sales platform, whichever one that's going to be, and getting the right vibe. But you know, I make more money right here with Facebook Messenger more than anything. Facebook <laughs> Messenger and a PayPal link. Yeah, I was, right. swear to God. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. I know. Uh, I literally started my JV manager business. I didn't have a website. I didn't have anything. I, I was posting some stuff in some Facebook groups for other people, you know, as a courtesy, literally. And all of a sudden, um, people started hitting me up. I'm like, are you a JV manager? I was like, yes, I am. And so, like, how much do you charge? So I'm messaging them back. I was like, um, I was making a crap up as I went along because I didn't know what I was doing at the time. But uh, you know, so many people act fast. Literally, people don't, don't worry about stepping perfect and, and making up this gigantic bottle of water. I'm gonna make more money every day to this day with Facebook Messenger than anything else and a PayPal. Exactly. Yeah. Preach it exactly. I mean, so many people are just stuck on the the little things, and they can't. You know, they're stuck on that for a month. You know, worrying about how to put the PayPal button on their site. And meanwhile, you know, you're blowing them away on Facebook Messenger, making sales. You know what I mean? And yeah. uh, you know, like I say, man, just just do it. You know, just get it out there. Who cares if it's not perfect? You'll make it perfect as time goes on. Just 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 get it out there. Yeah. Imperfect action is the key. It's always been the key. Yeah, and Dale and I, um, the Facebook Live Illuminati, the, the Facebook Live group that we're doing, um, Dale and I put that together. We've actually wanted to do it for weeks, but we just didn't have time to do it. We actually started um, selling it before I even had the sales page done 
and that was um, about five days ago. <laughs> you have to sell a product without even the product even started yet. Yeah. It's a live coaching group. It actually starts tomorrow. We didn't have the sales page done, but we had a buy button. You know, so we started selling it on Facebook Live, got some clients in there. Then I finished the sales page like two days ago, got some more clients in there. Take action. Imperfect, speedy, damn action because that's what goes. Yeah. If you wait for it to be perfect, um, you might as well just quit. Yeah, I know. I mean, some friends of mine, you know, they write, they just write a, an awesome sales letter. They don't even know what the product's going to be. You know what I mean? They just write their awesome sales letter, sell it for $97, and decide what the product's going to be after 500 people buy it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then, uh, uh, Delilah, I was going to tell you, I don't know if you're doing this, but uh, this has worked um, This has worked pretty well for me. Um, yeah, per yeah, Rick. Um, this has worked pretty well for me uh, in the past, and I'm going to start doing it again, especially when I had uh, uh, Sunday Night Marketing Chat when, I, when we had it up and running really well. Um, but I know that uh, I think it had to do with your Facebook Illuminati. I saw some people were creating videos um, uh, uh, endorsing that you, you, you're you legit, you know what you're talking about, and um, those videos alone were getting like two, three hundred views. I saw that really quick. And I, and I thought, and and what I what I used to, what, what I've done in the past is, you know, since that video is directly endorsing me, um, what I've what I've done is um, I've shared that video on Facebook on my Facebook fan page, or I've just uh, downloaded the video and then re-uploaded it on, under my fan page, and then I boost um, that video for five bucks to the same target <laughs> to the same audience that that person just reached. Um, like, Thank you. <laughs> You know, to so so you're basically reaching their you're, you're you're using them to promote you to their audience, right? Yeah. And so people are like, oh, if that person is, if that person's like endorsing this person, I'm definitely gonna join. So um, yeah, that's just a, a little little trick I've used. <laughs> you know, people people call me uh, so and so's talking about you, and I'm like, oh shit, who is this? <laughs> like, oh yeah 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 yeah, I know who you're talking about. <laughs> Uh, absolutely. Well, I mean, I had a couple of testimonials from some big name marketers on there. You did, yeah. You bet your ass, I took advantage of that. Yeah. Well, d down yeah, download those videos, upload onto your fan page, and then uh, boost the. Uh, go inside the ad manager and boost those videos, so it looks like it's them, and it just goes through the you, you know your target audience as them promoting you and. Next thing you know, you're gonna be making tons of sales. Trust me. Or, or I, you know what? I could sell you what I just told you for like 500 bucks. We'll call it good. For 997, it's it. For 997, yeah. There we go. There we go. Okay, guys. Hey, we're down to the last 10 minutes, guys. Right now, uh, we still got a bunch of uh, views, even on uh, on Google Hangouts. I finally seen where the view thing is. So if anybody has any questions, guys, for uh, Eric Rosen, Delia Taylor, Jimmy James, or myself, go ahead and ask. Uh, the last 10 minutes is just questions and answers. You can ask uh, anything related to Facebook marketing. Um, yeah, yeah, go ahead. And uh, we'll just continue to talk as I'm looking for um, questions. So Rick, Rick, uh, Tony, if you guys have questions, let me know. Anybody else watching that I can't see? Just let us know, guys, because I know there's a lot of viewers. Um, well, jeez, guys, it's been like a year since we've done this, and he didn't even know that there were people possibly watching on Google Hangouts. But we'll get this work out. It's cool. It's cool. Imperfect action. That's all it is. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. Imperfect action. I will never forget. Bill Hugel told me, and, and this was literally in Dublin. I mean, it, it wasn't that long ago, and I, I was so just amazed. He looked at me and said, "You know the best thing about you? You just take something and do it. You don't wait for it to be perfect. You just take something and and run with it. And that's what makes you so great." I was like, "Oh my God!" But uh, Jimmy, you know. You would be much impressed. And you've met Bill too, so I was I was just blown away. Yes, of course. 
But you know what, Delilah, that's the best way to be. A lot of people, like we say, they overthink everything. They don't take the action. They're worried about fear. They're worried about all these different things or the content. And like you said, people like yourself, myself, we just kind of jump at it. You do it. Um, you don't really care. And at the end of the day, usually that's the best way because that's when things start to happen is when you're not really thinking about it. So, yeah. Cool. Yeah, well, that, that was uh, that was the weirdest. Eric. Go ahead, What's that? Go, go ahead, Delilah. Hey, I was going to add, Eric, you and I have actually known each other for quite some time. Is Eric frozen? No, I'm here. I'm here. No, I'm not there. Okay. I was like, are you frozen? <laughs> no, no, I, 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 I think the same thing when I'm talking to him. Because like, he has the, <laughs> well, like, like the most still posture. He doesn't move. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we've been connected uh, for, I don't know, years now. Uh, right. Where are you? Because I literally don't know. I'm in Philly. Oh. East Coast. Okay. You and I have chatted like a blue million times on Facebook, and I'm like, where is this dude? I'm so Well... I've never had this happen before. Um, well, don't leave us hanging, Edson. Yeah, like, what's so, up? So what happened? I was on, I had the Facebook thing, everything was going fine, and then uh, when we talked about questions, it just turned off my whole Facebook. We're not live started. anymore? No, no, but it's still live, but I can't end it. Uh, are you trying yeah. to end it? Did you say goodbye? No, no, no. I, well, I have no control over it, but it still says live, and it still says, but it says broadcast interrupted, though. So it must uh, have been. And Rick yeah, has a question too about what do you think about the recent uh, FB curation softwares? He has them. It can curate viral videos out there and post them uh, as yours to your FB pages too. Um, I always feel there's a going to be a concern over this in the long term. Anybody? Honestly, I I am concerned with buying any Facebook software. Yeah, I'm not a fan. Because they, they update and they change so frequently. Right. I agree with you, Delilah. You have to be very, very specific about what you buy and making sure that it's going to last. And that's just, uh, I mean, I'm not trying to bash anybody's product, but... A lot of those. Uh, <laughs> that pretty much means you are. <laughs> yeah. A lot of those, you know, uh, Facebook group posts. I mean, it's it's just like spam. You know, it's like yells out spam. You know, um, you know, like across all these groups and stuff. I mean, it's just you know, it's unprofessional. You know. There yeah. are. I I'm very very particular about what Facebook uh, software products I buy, and I'll be the first one to admit. I have bought two this year, and I am happy, literally thrilled with them. Um, one of them was Lively by Luke McGuire, who always, I mean, he takes his time and thoroughly checks his products. If it is not right, he will he will tank a launch in a minute, regardless of what he put in it. And the other one was... Um, his other one, Viral. No, no, it, it wasn't by Luke. It was uh, Chad Nicely. Um, uh, leads, leads, leads. Uh, crap. Or, uh, oh, uh, yeah, I, I know you're talking about. Um, I have that, that too. Yeah. One? Uh, where they, yeah, that lead funnel thingy, right? Monster or something like that? No, or? It's, a link sluker. Uh, it's links. Easy links. That was it. Easy, Easy links. Oh, right. Okay. Because I, I could uh, cloak JV Zoo links and get them into Facebook. And it works. And before I ever send that out to anybody else or anything else, I bought it myself. Purposely bought it myself and tested it before I ever endorsed it because I wanted to make sure. And it works. And it, it actually tracks leads and targets and everything else. So, yeah, yeah, the big thing with, with anything like that um, about Facebook is making sure that it's going to be something that, that's long-term because if Facebook life changes, the algorithm, no, 
Facebook Live, but Facebook changes their algorithm in any way, you're going to lose your mind. And I think that goes with all platforms, Delilah, not just Facebook. Um, as social media is constantly changing, a lot of these platforms that start out, it's kind of like the Wild West at first because they want everybody in there um, using their product, making money, whatever it is. But then once they do have built their audience and they know that they have that 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 visitor rate or whatever you want to call it, um, then they start to tighten up. Google did it. Facebook's doing it. Um, a lot of these guys are doing it. Instagram. And so as as time goes on, the, the rules are constantly changing. And so, yeah, you're constantly trying to keep up. So, yeah, I agree with you there. It's really hard to find a software that's going to be compatible with any one of those platforms for the long term versus right. that's just good. Yeah. Yeah. Unless you're a software pain. developer that like, you know, definitely keeps up you know, on the APIs and everything like that. So, yeah, you definitely want to make sure the software developer is, is really good when you buy a product off of yeah, okay, guys, so with that, uh, it's been one hour already. So much fun. Um, thank you, Eric, for coming on. I uh, hope this, anytime you want, man, you're welcome to come back. And, yeah, thanks uh, for having me, guys. It's been a pleasure. You know, uh, guys, next week we're going to have uh, Brian G. Johnson. He's going to come on. We're going to talk about YouTube marketing strategies and why you need to have a YouTube channel and how to drive traffic with your YouTube channel. So Eric, again, you're more than welcome to come and join us, guy, anytime you want. Thank you so much for your uh, Facebook tips, and I'm definitely going to be hitting you up because I still have some questions about that viral thing that you were talking about. Yeah, and anybody uh, else has questions, uh, feel free to hit me up. I'm here. Yeah, and definitely. Guys, uh, you know, all three of you, man, I really appreciate you all. Thanks so much for having me. Yeah, uh, Eric, the, the last question, um, there we have time for one more question, even though I'm not on Facebook Live. Uh, Cynthia wants to know, is Eric single? Yeah. <laughs> Eric's a hottie. <laughs> there you go, Eric. Hey, that's a lead, brother. <laughs> it's a target. Laser target lead. <laughs> Laser target, baby. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you so Eric, much. Eric, it was a pleasure, my friend. Thank you very much for your insight and all those tips. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we look forward to picking your brain a lot more. <laughs> you got it, guys. Pleasure, man. All right, guys. See you next yeah. week. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Delilah. <laughs>